Hi, I'm Catherine Lazorico, Communications Manager. And I'm Maurice Jones, Town Manager for the Town of Chapel Hill. And we're joining you from Council Chamber at Town Hall to give you an update on your local government. Of course, the Council met last on September 11th. Um, they had a summer break, but it uh, doesn't mean they were inactive, of course. Oh, absolutely. We, we weren't meeting uh, regularly over the summer time, but we did have a couple of uh, uh, special meetings that involved the, the council. One special meeting on the issue of the Green Tract, where the council passed a resolution for how we would move forward with addressing the needs in the Green Tract and issues of affordability for housing, school sites, also um, possible rezonings in the future to address the needs there. So. Uh, that was a, a, an important meeting that we had with the council back in July. And then there have been an ongoing set of uh, meetings with council members who are part of the UNC Healthcare East Town Project Development Agreement. And they had a series of meetings over the summer to move that project along as well. So it was a busy summer, even though we weren't having regular meetings. It truly was. And uh, September 11th, I think the meeting was pretty much dominated by the short-term rental mm -hmm. question. And um, what I heard from the council is that they want a very full engagement process before they really settle on any local regulations. Yeah, absolutely. And these uh, short-term rentals are more commonly known as Airbnbs. Um, and so there's a, a growing uh, interest in finding a way to find the good balance to address the, the needs of um, folks in our community to be able to provide short-term rentals, but at the same time providing some fairness uh, to that process that addresses uh, issues like uh, occupancy tax and, and then also the effect that short-term rentals could have on neighborhoods as well. So trying to find that right balance um, with any sort of regulation in the future. So as part of that discussion, Council agreed to have a uh, short-term rental task force put into place that would look at the um, all of the different issues that um, are involved with uh, the issues of short-term rental and then come back to Council in the spring with uh, some recommendations and some options for moving forward, working with our staff and folks in the community. And as you mentioned, Catherine, to have a very robust community engagement, civic engagement uh, process there to hear from folks from all different walks of life on the their concerns related to short-term rentals before they came back with uh, some, some ideas for moving forward on that issue. Right, and if anyone is interested in applying to the task force, the uh, deadline is September 24th and uh, the applications are available online. The day before that, September 23rd, is the date for an open house mm -hmm. that's scheduled from 5.30 to 7-ish at the Seymour Senior Center mm -hmm. uh, off Homestead Road. And, and then I guess the council will be considering the actual makeup of the task force on October 2nd. That, so that's kind of the timeline. Exactly. We'll be asking the council to, uh, to formally uh, appoint those members of the task force and then get right to work on, on a lem number of different issues, including um, this issue of uh, whole house rentals. Uh, that seems to be a, a major concern mm -hmm. um, as to um, whether or not folks should uh, actually uh, be, it should be owner occupied and allowed to rent out their homes for a certain period of time or whether or not uh, other folks should be able to uh, to uh, purchase those homes and use them for rentals and the council has expressed an, an interest in uh, keeping it um, uh, affordable and an opportunity for folks who actually own their homes to go ahead and rent those out on a, on a fairly regular basis, but not to allow for a corporate, a corporate interest or others to, to come in, purchase them, and not, um, and not be connected to those homes in, in any way aside from what they offer with short-term rentals. So that's something that this task force will look at as well. And a long-term kind of review. Absolutely. I think they wouldn't be considering anything until spring of 2020? The earliest they? I think that it would come back to council would be the spring of, 23, oh. of 2020 and then um, and then we would get direction from the council for developing an ordinance that would come back um, at some point early next year as well that council would consider and move forward to, uh, to a vote on. Okay and so the public can look forward to surveys and different kinds of um, outreach that the town will be conducting on that topic. Absolutely. Um, so another initiative that has kind of come up is a transparency initiative. Mm -hmm. We have had a long history in Chapel Hill of, of clear and open government. We provide all of our council meetings online, all the agendas and minutes and videos. Right. Um, there are a couple of council gatherings that are not videoed now. Uh, one is a work sessions and the other is an economic sustainability committee meeting That's of the correct. council. 
Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about how this came about to now offer video of um, these other gatherings of the council? Sure. Well, this issue came up during the budget process, um, and it's actually an issue that goes back a couple of years. I, I believe it was uh, Mayor Pro Tem um, Anderson who had first brought uh, forward a petition to grant even more uh, transparency, provide even more transparency in our uh, town government. And during the budget process, we talked about having the CCES meetings and our work sessions videotaped and then shown um, on our website and made available on our website. And so the council put aside some funding as part of the budget process and we've now started that. Um, we began with our CCES meeting uh, here in September, which is online right now that folks can see. So all of our work sessions and CCES meetings will now be videotaped and put online for folks to see. Great. Well, we look forward to the public feedback on, on how that's received. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, and again, um, more information on our website, townofchapelhill.org, and uh, questions coming in to info at townofchapelhill.org. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Take care.